Hi, I'm Jill Bray, Executive Director of Tawny, and I'm in the Tawny Center today with Anne Heidenreich. Anne is a quilter and a member of the quilt group Fiberistas. Today we're talking about a recent project the Fiberistas completed, which is on display at the Tawny Center. And Anne is going to talk to us today about her slice of this project, which is called Landscape, and was a challenge for the members to create individual slices depicting landscapes, which are connected by lines that run through the project. So Anne, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're standing in front of your slice. Could you tell me how you came to the idea for what you were going to do for this project? Um, the, the, these are the Adirondacks and the Grass River. <laughs> and I, I um, very much identify with this place. I love the fact that I can live here. And, and um, the title of the, of the slice is I Am the River, the River is Me. And that comes from the from from the Maori in New Zealand. Uh, it's these are, they are people who identify themselves as not so much as the individuals as we do, but as participants in a place, as part of a place, as one with a place actually in their ancestors. So that's how they introduce themselves. I am I am they would say I am this river. This river is me. So that's the idea was to to have a picture of the Adirondacks in the fall, obviously. <laughs> and you do live on the Grass River. I do live on the Grass River, and I have spent a lot of time this summer in the Grass River, right? <laughs> right. Much every day swimming. You have a lot of beautiful fabrics in this piece. Um, could you talk to me about your fabric selections? Yeah, I have a friend at the at the Akasagi Reservation, and she is a seamstress, Liz Perkins, and she brings me bags of the uh, fabric that's left over from her projects, and I uh, so I it's a great source of wealth. <laughs> I say I take all these fabrics and iron them and trim them and organize them by color, and then I have a, a great store of fabric. So you mentioned to me earlier when we were talking that this particular piece was for you a great practice in sewing seams that are not straight lines. So do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, this was the, my whole introduction to, um, to sewing because I had done the traditional quilting where we sew pretty much just straight lines and I was very curious about how to do that. And the fiber bases are wonderful at at sharing everything they know. So I learned how to do, how to sew two pieces of fabric together that are not in a straight line. And that was, so this, you'll see that here, there are different, um, when I got up to here, these are joined, sewed on the outside. These are seams that are folded under and sewed on the outside. These are seams that are sewed, actually two pieces of fabric, you know, with the right sides together, sewing a seam. and. I, I, yeah, it worked. <laughs> it worked. I was quite happy with it. Yeah, and how yeah. difficult was it to get the composition right? Because you've got a lot of motion and different layers in this. Um, did it come together pretty easily? Yeah. Yeah, I, I just, um, I had the two lines and, and I then just drew, you know, I just, just sketched it, the rest of it, and, and started cutting. That's wonderful. Well, the result is very beautiful, so thank you for coming by today to talk to us about this. And thank you for joining us. In the coming weeks, we're going to be bringing you interviews with other members of the Fiberistas talking about their slices in this quilt, and we hope you'll join us for that. Thank you.